Wendy, we don't want to hog you all to ourselves, and we want to share with our lovely, awesome audience your two favorite tips for fashion and style. And so we can go from looking like that to... So this. we don't look like that. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> all I have to say is good thing I'm married, right? Exactly. <laughs> Praise God. Um, there's a, so many things. I, I always like to say if you're starting out in style, it's like a one... You know how we go to the gym and we can only lift like the little bitty weights at the beginning? Mm -hmm. Style is the same thing. Take a one pound style weight. That's when you're getting started. Once you keep trying and doing things, you're like, oh... I can take, I can try that. I can take more risks. That's what I seem to find. But two things that are going to help, which helps every single client, mm -hmm. is knowing your body type. Now, girls, this is not how big you are or how small you are. That's God-given. That never changes. Also, knowing your style personality. Does so anybody what? know what that is? That happens to be, if you like flowy, you just love romantic, you're just not, I love flowers. <laughs> I love my dresses to be flowy, or you're a classic person, do you like clean lines, simple jewelry, and more body conscious things? Or you're trendy like me, you never know. Yeah. Like you wake up, I'm a mood dresser, what do I feel like, okay? Mm -hmm. So all, you can see all of us up here have different styles. So it's real important, if you don't know two, those two things, you're literally shooting in the dark. Mm -hmm. The mall's overwhelming to me, so I can see how you would buy the same thing over and over and over. It can be taught. Style is a muscle, remember that. You just don't wake up and go, bam. I don't wake up and just look, I just look like this every day. It Wendy takes does. effort. Well, so today we're going to, yeah, I do. Don't let her lie. Mm -mm. Today we're going to show you some spring trends. You guys, it's spring, right? Here all year long, spring and summer. Yeah. Everybody's like, it's a little early for spring. Not really. <laughs> it's coming soon. So we're going to show you some colors, a couple little tips, and this is something you can start tonight or tomorrow. So let's bring out the first model. Her name is Shannon. Let's give her a hand. Because Mark this Shannon. is about being fearless. Now, I, if you know me, and most of you do, you know I like to support my small local businesses. I really love that. So everything I'm showing is from Kaya Designs, which is custom made in Tampa Bay. And Tate and Tilly's is a boutique, which is locally here. This is a Kaya Design in Pink Yarrow. Be fancy. Say I'm wearing pink yarrow, not just pink. Pantone 2017 color palette. Okay, Wendy, interruption. You got to explain Pantone. Pantone. I have no idea what pa Anyone else? I this is free. Write this down. Uh, how do you, you know, if you're not taking notes, you, this is free info, girls. Get yes. your pen out. Tell them what's I think you might I need to spell yarrow. Yeah, okay. yarrow. Yeah. So you're going to Google tonight. You're going to go home and Google this. Pantone, P-A-N-T-O-N-E, color palette for 2017 spring. Now, this is free. Print it out. Put it up in your bedroom or your closet, and you're going to know what's in. Now, you don't have to spend a fortune. You can do the colors for this season in an accessory, right? A piece of jewelry, earrings. If you're on a tight budget, then you feel like you're cooling up on trend. Now, a dress. Anybody else that knows me? A dress is one piece, y'all. So easy to wear, and you look better than most people when you show up, okay? So one piece, a dress. This is custom made. Kaya, you pick the fabric, she makes it for you. Doesn't she look cute? So yeah. accessories are really important for that for spring. Also, dresses are great because it's very hot and humid here. She might need spanks under that, but then you're going to sweat. So this is a dress, too. We had like three or four shoe options for this. You can wear a ballet flat with a dress. You can wear a sandal. There's so many things you can do with the dress, and it's one piece. Thank you, Shannon. You look Thank fabulous. you. Beautiful. Next trend is Wendy. This is Wendy Young coming. Woo! Woo Another spring trend is stripes. Now, this is my classic girls. This outfit is not for my classic. Some of you are like, oh, he oh heck no. This is not for me. <laughs> I scared a few of you just ran out of here. <laughs> this is for my trendy girl. This is Kaya Designs custom made fabric. Amazing. I'm showing the striped top that you could wear with a solid. Don't get afraid if you're classic. But I print pattern mixed, which I love. It's not for everyone. Get this straight. Once you know your style personality, then it frees you up to be you. This is what we're talking about this weekend. This is a Kaya design. Now, stripes, again, doesn't that seem spring to you? You can wear them all year here. But it's a huge trend all over the runway. They showed everywhere. I did do it with the pattern mixing. Now, the Kaya pants, you can untie them. Then it's a nice full leg. It looks amazing. She looks cute, right? Yeah. Do a little turn for us. She's going to untie it and show I would have never thought to tie the bottom. Yes. Uh -huh. I love this look. Very nice. So you could also put it down. It looks a little bit dressier if you want to do a lower heel or a high heel, or you can tie that's it up. That's cute. Also, crossbody bags, huge trend. So if you don't have one, that's something you can add to your wardrobe. So easy. 
your arms are free. If you're like me, you talk with your hands, crossbody's great for you. So thanks, Wendy. So stripes. So we have color, we have stripes. The next spring trend, this is my model, Jill. This is called That's pale so dogwood. Cute. This is a color, yeah. it's a couple different trends. Yeah, like Guess what else is in for spring? Ruffles. I love ruffles. Oh. Again, if you're a classic person, you're like, no, don't do ruffles because you're not girly. So ruffles, this is, not, this is a little edgier version of a ruffled skirt. This is very cute. This is called a maxi skirt. Maxi means long. long. I actually had a client one time go, what's maxi? Once I said long, she literally turned red. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> that was kind of obvious. So again, when you have, this is pale dogwood, one of the colors for spring, which tends to work like a neutral. We would call it a pale pink, but they just reinvented the name. So this is cute. So we put it with denim. Denim is a neutral, you guys. It matches everything. Accessories are huge as well. So long pendant, this is a style tip, so write this down. If you put a long pendant, you see most of us wearing one, there's a reason for that. You appear 10 pounds thinner. Oh, I think we should I, clap for that. Did you faint? We should clap for that. Did you faint on that one? I received that. I That's tell my clients, they're like, I need, a, I, need a, I need a long pendant. Girls, it doesn't cost a lot. Go to Target tonight <laughs> and get either a silver or gold. Start with a metallic. It appears, if you see most people on TV, they wear a longer necklace. It keeps your eye going like this. You look thinner. You're like, yes, 10 pounds. She looks adorable. So, Wendy, for yes. the woman who has curves and yes. edges, mm -hmm. how are you thinking ruffles will do with her? Okay, good question. <laughs> I'm gonna look do you like remember what I said about knowing your body type? You're not going to do all these trends. That's why it's very important that you recognize that. You're not going to learn that today. I can get with you later. It's key, you're not gonna do every style. Now, this ruffle, lay, it, it depends on how they lay and where they're at. If you are one of those body types that happens to be well and down, mm -hmm. and guess what, that's not me. That's not me either. <laughs> you're gonna avoid ruffles on that area. Tell me why. It's gonna make it appear Yell larger. It. Right. Yes. Yeah. So ruffles add depth, depth where you have them, where right there, most girls don't need depth there if they're that body type. Now again, here, ruffles, if you have a larger booty body type, you're not gonna do ruffles around your hips or booty. Right. Make okay. sense? Where are my big yeah. booty girls at? Where my yeah. big booty girls? Who's not gonna be wearing any ruffles and at that's that a great, time? They're all great body types. So again, these ruffles lay flat. Do you see the difference? All this does is add texture and interest to the outfit, which makes it interesting. Okay, again, a handbag. Now, I wanted to show you this because it's still technically winter here, right? So I added a boot to this. If you don't own a neutral boot, you should add that to your wardrobe as well because it matches everything. A neutral color, you could put it on every single thing. Simple, right? So you don't have to think about what sh shoes match. So we actually added a boot to this to, to, to make it seasonal. It's real important that you're seasonal here, even though it's warm all year. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Does she look cute? Mm -hmm. We all yeah, have boots really on. Really cute. Cute. Yeah, really it's winter and we're still wearing boots. She looks amazing. And, it, and again, a denim vest, anytime you add a third piece to your outfit, it takes it up a notch. Remember that. Like ah. if I took my jacket off, it'd be okay, kind of cute. But when you add a jacket, Bam, it takes it up a notch. That's good to know as well. Yeah. But jewelry counts as well. Now, if you're trendy style personality, you can carry off more jewelry than most people. That makes sense? Yes. Classic people, you're not going with jewelry. You like simple studs, maybe one bracelet, you're good to go. But you like quality and you like things that are fitted. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That's why it's so important that you know your body shape and your style personality. So thank you. Next model, please. Thank you. We have Karina. She's a beautiful friend of mine. Now this, this spring trend's gonna crack you up. Okay, straight from the runway in New York and Paris, this actually, I'm not, you're, don't laugh, and you're gonna thank me on this. It's actually called the slouch. Say it, the, the slouch. 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 Other words, when I have the client that says, and everyone says, I just wanna be comfortable. I love that. I just wanna be comfy, right? Translation, this is your comfy look without yes. your sweatpants with the stains on them and your sweatshirt. That's good, but that's called what I call your hacking around clothes at home. So this is a good way to do the slouchy look and look modern. It's a great look for Florida. Doesn't it look tropical and carefree? Yes, it does. I love neutrals at well. This is neutrals, meaning white on beige. You could also do another trend is monochromatic look, which I kind of had on last night. If anybody saw me, I had gray and gray. I love that look. Now, if you're wanting to look slimmer as well, if you do the same color from head to toe, it's slimming, people. Mm -hmm. And also, you look thinner. So this is a great look, white linen pants, you can't go wrong for Florida, wear them to the beach, out to dinner, you can wear them with plaids, a gladiator sandal, this is a great look. Again, look at this bag, a slouch bag. 
So Can you believe they, they have a trend? If they were that and a long pendant, do they lose 20 pounds? 10 for the outfit, 10 yes. for the necklace? There you go. She said, <laughs> good question. Do we, yeah, we lost 20 pounds on this outfit. Everybody's like, I want that. They'll be lined up for that. So again, you could add color because this is white and cream. It's a neutral. So you could add a color bag to this and still be cool, right? And again, she could wear this with slouch. So slouch doesn't mean sweatpants. <laughs> it's the new term for comfy. I knew you all would like that because I get that the most. I just want to be comfy. I just want to be comfy. But you can be comfy and cute with this trend. trend. She looks amazing. Thank you. Great. And again, all the jewelry was provided by our local girl here at Grace Family, Rachel Ward, who has Jamara's Gems. Where is she at? She's here. She's here somewhere. I saw her. She was taking a picture. Yeah. Right there. Stand up. So yeah. thank her for providing all the accessories as well for our little spot spring trends. Any yes. questions? What's, one you're, what's the trend that you're going to do? I really like the slouch look. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, just I really be like that. And the fact that you're giving us an okay to wear those white pants all year long in Florida, right? Yes. yes. I okay. get this a I'm lot. Good. Right after Labor Day. Who says it's okay? I think it depends. It's, doesn't it depend on the kind of fabric? And winter white versus summer white? All, all the rules are gone. Oh. That's been long gone. You can wear white all year. Now, here's the kicker. You don't want to wear it with white sandals. Yeah. Right. You want to wear it with winter appropriate items. Maybe a thicker sweater, seasonal maybe white jeans and a boot. You've seen that. We all do it. I see you all. You're doing a good job. But I hear that all the time. Can you wear white after labor? Yes. That rule has been abolished about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's a great question. Well, know. I just need to say, this is a no condemnation zone in this Absolutely. church. Absolutely. Because after I met with Wendy, I'm like, well, I got to go change clothes now. I'm she went to TJ Maxx, y'all. I went to TJ Maxx, <laughs> and they got cheap stuff there or whatever. So just so you know, do not shy away um, because you're thinking, well, I, I'm, I don't do any of these trends. Because <laughs> usually I'm in a ball cap and no makeup and sweatpants. And so. we all are. You saw us. Yes, usually exactly. we are. But I'm saying so. that when you want to put your best foot Right. Out there, you're here's how to be the do best, it. right? Because I've never met, a, I was telling them before, I've never, never met a woman yet that comes to me and says, I just want to look okay. Yeah. Today, I just want to be drab. You know, like, <laughs> I, I don't wake up and go, mm, I just want to have an okay day. I want to look okay. Never. Yeah. And when you feel fabulous, come on. When you get that new outfit and you step out, you're like, I look good. Yeah. yeah. And when you get your hair did, unless you leave the salon like Superwoman, you're like, is there a movie going on? You know, like, yeah. <laughs> you're like, where can I? And you have nowhere to go. It's like, I have nowhere to go. You get your hair done. You're like, okay, nobody's seen me. So that's when we post the Facebook pictures, that, right? Yeah, that's <laughs> when we do our selfies. So yeah, there's so many things. We Would you mind through. sharing that analogy that you shared with us earlier about the gift? I just thought that was really powerful. Well, because I hear this sometimes. This was my struggle. My testimony growing up was, this is who I am. I've been this way since five. That's why I think Lisa Bevere touched on that. Um, and Sharon as well is like, we are called to do a certain thing. This happens to me in my little thing, and someone said, stay in your lane. I'm adamant about every woman, they have their thing. This is my little bitty, little speck. It's really meaningless in my lane. This is all I can do. Like, I go to other people for special things. So you said about the box, we all have a gift in us, right? Because we're here. And that's the gift of Christ, our love from Christ that the world desperately needs right now. Mm -hmm. And if I had a box, two boxes, and I said there was a Tiffany bracelet in it, right? And I had one box wrapped and one box not wrapped. Which one would you take? The wrapped box. The, wrapped the prettier box. one. You right. would take prettier the pretty one. box for girls, right? I would take the pretty box. Same thing in it. So I say the same. When we approach ourselves the best, when we step up every day, so I'm going to give the world, I'm going to give this day the best I can so I'm approachable and likable so the world can hear our message, I say, look your best and feel your best. Right? Yes. Yes. Amen. We shouldn't be sad sack people like, Ugh, I love, but I love Jesus, you know, but I got this. It's okay. And that's being in your lane. If you're sporty spice, rock that sporty spice. Man, put that ponytail and little lip gloss in your sporty spice. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I'm not saying you're supposed to be trendy like me. Like you said, mm -hmm. I'm trendy. My best friend is Barbara Bush. I call her Johnny Cash, actually. I cannot get her in color. <laughs> and I love color. So we can be different. That's right. Right? We're yes, all different. Right. We've met all these. We're all different. We have our own little lane to share. Right. So that's a really good question. And, you know, you told us earlier, which I thought was interesting, was I think as women we have that default setting of I can't call myself beautiful. I can't say, you know, like you say, oh, I'm trendy. We can't say that about ourselves because we must be modest and we must say, no, I look ugly and no, my hair is too big and all these things. But you said 
that this is the way God made us. There is nothing wrong with feeling beautiful. Well, I say this all the time. Have you seen a sunset? Have you seen a rainbow? Think about that. I'm in awe. I went to Hawaii last year with my son. I literally cried every day of God's beauty. It was the Garden of Eden. And I said, don't tell me he doesn't care about beauty when I see right. it everywhere in his creations. Yes. Right. So, and we're more valuable than that. Yeah. yeah. Right? I see so much beauty in this room. And I'm not talking about outward beauty. I'm talking right. about true beauty, right? right. Yeah. So he does care. And, it, and what it says is that we're valuable. He, we're valuable to him. Mm -hmm. It adds value. Right. Absolutely. Right. Can we Excellent. just give a big round yes. of applause Thank to you, Wendy, Wendy for these amazing tips she has given us Thank today? You.